Okay, uh, last time the video stopped, so let's continue. So we got the PLM pi, we got these two terms, and we got this one using this one. Actually, this one should be m plus 1. Okay, and this is a recurrence formula, but uh, uh, we want to get to the form in the textbook, so we need another one to change that. Uh, what we'll use is uh, e equation 15.87. So 15.87 will give you PL m plus 1 plus 2m over 1 minus x squared to the 1 half plm plus l plus m l minus m plus 1 L m minus 1 equals to 0. Okay, so this is 15.87. Alright, so what we'll do is uh, use this formula. Uh, I think I missed an x here. x to mx. Alright, there's mx. PLM so similar to this one except that this there's a 1 minus x squared so it's uh, so you have a 1 minus x squared to the 1 half power left okay so this one you have 1 minus x squared to 1 half power left and this is you have the same factor here so, so you can multiply it to the left hand side so after you multiply it by 1 minus x squared to the 1 half PLM pi that will be using this formula and this is in the minus so you and then in, uh, there's a factor of 2 so you need to divide it by a factor of 2 so 1 half and PLM plus 1 so that's this one and then plus this one L plus M L minus M plus 1 PL M minus 1 okay so this you change to this one and then this one you can copy it from here is so actually they should be grouped together. So this is minus. Uh, so multiply this factor to the other side. And now you don't have the one half factor, so you can just press minus two. Okay, minus two of them, but this one is exactly this one. So minus two minus minus one minus. Okay. So this one should be. Um, Equation fifteen point point ninety one. Okay, this is fifteen point ninety one. If you combine this again using this again, this equation again substitute it into here, so you will get uh, furthermore we get fifteen point ninety two. Okay, so all right, so we got all the um, recurrence formula derived, and uh, they are of course very useful. And one e example to use them is uh, the example fifteen point four point one, which uh, which is using the a very simple fact that uh, all the if both L, L and M are the same, the agenda associate agenda function is very simple. You can uh, get that quite easily. Just two M minus one 
1 minus x squared to the m over 2 power. Okay, so that's uh, that's one uh, function that you get it very easily. And by the way, this 1 minus x squared to the square root is if going back to the spherical angle, it's a sine theta. So it is sine theta to the m power. So all the associated general function when m and m, m and l are the same, uh, it's just proportional to this sine theta to the m power. So that kind of uh, one thing that you can use. So once you have one term, then you can use uh, one of these recurrence formula to get every one uh, other agenda, associated agenda function. And that's uh, an easy way to construct these functions. Right.